name is Paul Melkert, and as a pediatrician and as a parent, I fully support extending marriage equality to all families. I've been a pediatrician in the Twin Cities for more than 10 years and have taken care of thousands of families in sickness and uh, in maintaining good health. Um, no, we want to have that. Uh, my anecdotal, uh, anecdotal experiences in the clinic are unequivocally echoed in the myriad studies that continue to come out from after more than 25 years of research. The children raised in same-sex uh, couples by same-sex uh, gendered parents fare equally well in all areas of emotional, psychosocial, and behavioral adjustment as opposite gendered parents. It's clear that children's optimal development is influenced more by the nature of their relationships rather than the particular form that it takes. <laughs> they always say don't get in public with animals and children. <laughs> I'll take that. All right. Uh, last year, the uh, board of the uh, Minnesota chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics. <laughs> Uh, bravely, unanimously uh, voted to uphold, <laughs> uphold the right uh, of all children and all families to the legal, financial, and psychosocial security that comes from having legally recognized parents who are committed to each other and to the welfare of their children. <laughs> security obviously comes through love and commitment, not from sexual orientation. The rights, benefits, and privileges that come from a legally recognized marriage cannot be obtained by any other means. All families benefit from the reassurance that comes from knowing that your family is safe and secure. I'd like to introduce my husband, James. Uh, you've met Emmett and uh, <laughs> his twin brother, Gabriel, who will be turning four uh, next month. James and I were united in our church in a ceremony of holy union, witnessed by our family and by our closest friends. And um, we'll be celebrating our seven-year anniversary in April. <laughs> we are fortunate to have the unwavering love and support of both of our families. And um, we have protected our family through the limited means that's available through our current legal system. I decided to stop talking. <laughs> you didn't hear that, did you? <laughs> um, however, it's, what we have is not equal, and not all families have the same access uh, to resources and the same support that we're fortunate to have. This places them at higher risk financially and places them also at risk for access to health insurance and to health services. Extending the freedom to marry to all loving and committed couples is in the best interest of all children and families like ours and thousands of others throughout the state. The rights, benefits, and protections for all people will continue to strengthen every family, families like ours. I'm done. <laughs> uh, M-E-L-C-H-E-R-T.